Pure water, pure pride, pure Jamaican. Pure water is about pure hydration. Remember to drink pure water and satisfy all your pure water needs. Good afternoon. Welcome to Friday, May 14th. Open Gate Show Analysis for Race Meet May 15th. 10 races. Remember, wear your mask, practice social distancing, sanitize your hands, and surely rehydrate yourself with what else but pure water to make us pure pride bottled water. I must thank Bottles, Hanskill Cole, Asha, my wife, and others who have helped me to reach the stage I am presently. There's been lots of talk about the dead eat on, on the race meet May 8th, which involved Miniature Man and further beyond in, in race 9. Well, a lot of pictures concerning the dead it that the official posted. Looking at it, it looked like number four, miniature man one. I understand the matter is taken up to the legal authorities by the miniature man connection. Well, we'll hear more on that as the weeks goes by. Post time for tomorrow's tenorous card is 10.45 a.m. And it, it goes seven and a half furlongs. 13 start of it for trails and up, claiming tag 800 to, 800 to $1 million. Number two, Jamai Raja was a late non-starter last week. And according to the official race book, he was lame prior to the race. One week. Well, obviously that issue was minor. Uh, he comes here pretty light, 53 kilos, and will be prompting the pace. But his form line suggests that Jamai Raja ain't well. Number three, Purple Wayne uh, put in to a 750,000 tag by trainer Robert Pearson, who had this horse for 39 starts, current starts, I should say. Uh, this horse was claimed by John Wilmot and um, was put in an overnight allowance race against King Arthur and my case as a professor, they finished in that order. Uh, went wide, finished six, 14 minutes. Then Nelson is on. John Wilmot has been doing good with, with his claiming horses. So Purple Wayne should be considered. Number four, Ron Kaber was claimed some time ago and then campaigning over that allowance. Uh, not all that bad. And comes here for a million dollars with the beach director Harvey, who is really trying to get back to his form. Uh, Ron Kabir should be part of your top four. Number five, cryptocurrency. This one was claimed for 750,000 and ran awkwardly, although winning. Put into a million dollar tag on the 23rd of April and cryptocurrency one like a out of class animal will do 52, 52 kilos back here over seven and a half furlongs uh shouldn't perturb uh, this this mare and uh, cryptocurrency has campaigned against some good horses in the past and then he can repeat to make this three in a row number seven don't strike 2018 Derby winner has been 2000 well has been 
trying to find if best for putting for a, a, a million dollar claim this is not the first time this will be the fourth time rather and uh drone strike mm, could be part of your lawyer Alex. stable mate number eight Salah has been running quite frequently between the 850 to 900,000 claiming tag did one over this journey on the 16th of January and Salah uh, looks fit enough and should be considered number nine night light up to a million dollars with Shane Ellis uh not sure he has the class to win this race but could be part of your low exotics number 12 top shelf uh, showing some form of consistency uh 52 kilos with Robert, uh omar walker who ride this one for the seventh consecutive time um better off at the handicaps against cryptocurrency but i don't think that will help her to turn the tables on that and that one number 13 uncle vinnie <coughs> sorry excuse me claimed on the 23rd of december four million dollars and uh, another that has been running into overnight allowance and doing very well back in the one million dollar claim very light and i'm expecting uncle vinnie to be coming to do well uh should do well i don't like this horse though but remember that's me number five get the currency number three purple rain number four ron cabal number eight salah number 12 top shelf that's the order of preference for the open gate show second race children and it for children up at the claiming tag 445,000 eight start of the go five and a half furlong or 1100 meters number one okahumka uh this also was claimed on the 21st of march for trinity uh where he came out straight finished in third six lengths to the danger doom and doom patrol the late on start on 23rd of April. Um, looking better condition since claim, and although up to the 450, Okahumka is gonna run well. Number two, Modern Nature, a very fit horse. Uh, one of two here for Trader Lawrence Free Mantle. Uh, won very easily on last, we did nothing much. But they ain't nothing much here anyway. Mother Nature, then Nelson again looks good. Number three, Nina Dorado, no form. Well, last two times, this was run was very poor. Is capable and must not be overlooked. Number four, awesome aviator. Did we at this distance on the 17th of February at this tag, 45,000? Uh, when closing to beat Stanislaus and Modern Nature. Modern Nature was three and a half, well, five and a half lengths behind that one then. Awesome Aviator has been consistent and was claimed for 45,000 on the 20th of March when he ran a good second three quarter lengths to Kira B. Uh, came back to the 500 attack on the 17th of April and didn't show anything. Interesting to see how this one runs tomorrow. Number five, Copper Soup could be part of your lower exotics. Number six, Mr. Linders, a different horse since the figure eight uh, alone has been used, and, and that has been since the 23rd of january very fit horse and uh the anthony thomas gets the call and should be considered 
Number eight, Chris Anthony. Claimed by Ryan Williams. Up in tag. Has it all to do. Number two, Mother Nature. Number one, Oka Umka. Number six, Mr. Linders. Number four, Awesome Aviator. Number five, Cup of Soup. Third race, it's for native bread, four years and up. It's a main condition race. Fortune declared going five and a half furlongs or 1100 meters. Number one, Queen Destiny. We'll have the tongue tie on for the first time. Yes. Uh, could be a good idea, seeing that this one uh, has been faltering, approaching the furlong marker, and the tongue tie should help. How much it will do for a win, I don't know. But uh, Queen Destiny will definitely be part of the top four. Number two, Commissioner surprised me with that run on the 1st of May, or the five run straight. Why? Because I didn't like his condition, but he looked well on that day and ran well. Should be the horse to beat if the debutant Bin Laden fails. Number three, Reckless Diamond looks a horse that could upset or create a mild upset hair. Uh, seemingly, Kim and McGregor knows this horse very well. On the 2nd of January, he rode this horse going five rounds round, and this horse ran evenly to be fourth, seven and nine, Copper Soup, Miss AJ, C, and Cruising Beauty. Came back aboard on the 20th of February and this was closed to be three and a half and fourth expeditious mighty Chelsea and toughness uh fairly well bred horse a lot of these horses are at Stephen Todd's tables and uh, I don't know well you know how they're performing like this but you know as I said I don't know but Reckless Diamond, if you're looking for an outsider, you could put this one there. Number four, Lady Bastopor has flattered to the thieves on many occasions and um, it looks happier than the size and could come up with a good display. I don't expect her to win though. Number five, Soul Treasure could get into your mid order exotics. Number eight, Champion Michaela. The Latex has been removed again for the third time and this this sly connection could have champion Michaela geared up for a win number 10 Lance Den has to break better going over the short trip last twice this horse ran with seven furlongs and both occasions were second seven and a half lengths behind the winner 57 kilos with what is the weight that Lance then will have. Number 12, Bin Laden, quite a name. This is a debutant, a four-year-old bay court by Stormcraft out of Ellis Pegasus by Fisarchi Pegasus, which will Gillespie owns and trains this one. Lincoln Farms, the breeder Leroy Byfield, the groom, uh, working okay and uh, could be better than these. Notice I said could. Let's see. Another debutant, number 13, she's a mistake. This one is a photo of fitted by West Kingston out of secret code by Coded Warden. Rising star, the owner, Alan Williams, the trainer, Dean Jackson, the breeder, the groom, Herbert Cousin. Not doing much. <coughs> Sorry, but he looks very happy when going to the pool. Then Nelson gets the call. Number two, Commissioner, just for number 12, Bin Laden. Number three, Reckless Diamond. Number one, Queen Destiny. Number five, Soul Treasure. <coughs> Pardon me. Race four, so five years and up, claiming tag 150 to 180,000. And Native Red six years and up, who have never won two races, as well as Native Red six years and up, who are still a maiden. Five for long straight, or a thousand meters straight. Nine were declared. Number two, Prince Samo. Should be the horse to beat, won easily and last, although against nothing. Uh, had number three, Jason's Gold, 
almost 10 lengths behind. Can't see Jason Gore reversing that position. Number five, Dr. Barnard, one of two here for trainer uh, Michael Thomas. Last twice this horse ran, wasn't comfortable after the race. Has it all to do going on the, well, not going on the curve, going on the straight again. Light enough to be considered. Number six, Mount Zion King. Uh, should have a chance going over a, a distance to five from the straight, well, the straight course that he prefers. Very light and another that should be considered. Number seven, Golden Emperor. Very, very inconsistent horse. Uh, did run above his head on last. And it's a possibility that Golden Emperor have this race in mind, seeing that he loves the five front of straight race. Number nine, smoke screen, the other Michael Thomas horse. Mm, his best could do for a win if the others fail. Okay, number two, Prince Samuel from number seven, Golden Emperor. Number nine, smoke screen. Number six, Mount Van King. We are halfway, race five. 1,400 meters or seven furlongs, it's 400 but further and up, who have never won two races as well as imported further and up, who are still maidens. Seven furlongs or 400 meters, 15 were declared, number one, a heater. This horse ran a very good race on the 1st of May, going six furlongs, when running on to get a length behind Rose of Rose, Rose for Ali. Uh, Miss Ellington was third. That one came back and won. John on the inside, Ryan Lewis, seems a very focused youth of late. And I'm sure he has, um, he has it all going for him especially now that he's getting some very good rides from the Ian Pissard camp. Ejito looks the horse to beat. Number four, Gorgeous Gifts. Uh, he's looking very happy in the morning and could be in for a minor placing. Number five, War of Roses, uh, very happy, but as an issue which, to me, um, you know, you can't see him winning this. Although Dave Nelson will be on this horse for the fifth time. Number six, Shaboom. Uh, Sly Sword, who um, can be looked at. Your guess is as good as mine. Number seven, Zabatoni. Uh, decent chance of catching them all. Number eight, Bol Sami should be part of your top five. Number nine, Gambler. From the stables, well, from the informed stables of trader Michael Marlowe. It's good to see Michael Marlow, Michael Marlow's barn, uh, getting in some wins and his horses running well. A gambler will be closing. I don't know if he'll be closing fast enough, but the Cardenas, he rides well for the Marlow barn. Number 10, wife said, so speediest horse here will be in front and will have to be caught was caught on the 6th of uh, December by this choice who is here. Uh, wife said so, finished three and behind that one. Freshened and, well, back here now, let's see if he can turn the tables on number 13, this choice, who ran well on the 7th of April, finishing three and three quarters and third, the Diamond League and Zabra Tony uh, is better off at the scales. And we welcome back Top Apprentice or Shane Nugent, his first ride. Let's see what happens. Number 14, Chana Express has a good chance considering Egito. This all finished fourth, one and three quarter length behind Rosa Fischel and Egito and Miss Hillington. So if you give Egito a chance, you have to consider 
Channel Express with a good chance as well, especially Anthony Thomas rides and is well drawn. Number one though, Ajita from number 14, Chana Express. Number seven, Zabba Tony. Number 13, Deep Choice. Number 10, YC Says So. Number seven, number nine rather, can also be considered for a part of your mid-order exotics. Six race goes a mile or 1600 meters. 13 starters is for nearly about four years and up. None of the three, and imported for and up, who have never won two races. Okay, number four, fearless champion, that okay. On his season debut on the 24th of April, finishing five and, a, and a three quarter and third to I'm a citizen and versatile vision, who is here once again. Uh, a disappointing horse, this fearless vision. But he should run much better than on last. Number six favorite is looking okay, but could need this race. Number seven first uh, vision is fit and uh, should be in your top three. Number eight Redford has been looking a, a bit different of late, but he has to be on top of his game if he intends to win. Very light though. Number 10, Sun City, looked very happy yesterday morning and uh, won very easily going two turns on the 23rd of April. Uh, Sun City, at this handicap, should again be seriously considered. Number four, number 12, Attorney General, has better number 10 Sun City on the 26th of February, going a mile this very journey. Uh, a possibility that he can do it again, although his last two starts weren't much to go by. Anyway, number 10 Sun City from number four, that's fearless champion, number 12 Attorney General, number seven Versatile Vision, number six Ferret is. Seventh race, it's uh, our native trial. It's the main special weight race. Six for over twelve hundred meters. Twelve stars. Number one, another storm, trained by your truly a small filly who has been around and well finished last and bought it on two her two career starts. Let's see if she can beat a horse or two this time. Number two, turn on the light. Looks very fit yesterday. I like how this one look. It has to come with, with his A game, though, if she intends to win. Should be part of the top five. Number three, she's my destiny, a debutant. Uh, the trio of Chester Philip born the 4th of March. Bred, burn identity out of woman is boss by traditional Everton Rose and Akeem Mahadio are the owners. Jason Slokosti, the trainer, Karen Prasad, bred this one. Liam Walker is the groom for her. Jerome Ennis rides. Has been working very well. Really went well on Monday the 3rd of May of the gates of the straight, 45 and 3 fifths for the first four, pulled up, well, finished five for love in 59, and a fifth, that's very, very impressive indeed. Came back on Sunday, May 8th, May 9th rather, and got up five and a half for one, 107, two fifths by 101 and a fifth. That augurs a lot for this debutant who will run with tongue tie and Lasix. Another debutant, number four, and Rapture, born the 8th of March, a child by Philip by uncaptured out of, for obvious reasons, by a desert party, Dr. Graham Brown and Edison Chai, the owner, Gary Sobriety Trains, breeder, Dr. and Mrs. Cornelius Link, the groom, Claude Thompson, Leggy, 
Philly, who will definitely need this race to figure out what it's all about. But in a field such as this, you can have her for a part of your exotics. Number five, Raven Finn, a horse that I love. I think this horse is a very, very good horse. Uh, it's cutting back in distance. Last two times this horse ran was a mile and he finished a good second, one and a half length on each occasion uh, to the winner, Ian Lynx and Ian's Lynx and Sir John respectively. Um, get are easing the weight now, and if she, my destiny fails, look no further than right and Saint. Number six, Alexis Dream making her seasonal debut, working very well for quite a while and has improved in the latter part of her preparation for this. Should give a decent display. Number nine, Makamura ran evenly and last, well, not near the winner, Curling Barracuda, finishing fifth, eight and a half length, another that you have to consider for your uh, low exotics. Number 12, Queen Adelie, a debutant, born the 11th of February, Chestnut Philly by Bernard Denito of Port Song by Double Honor, and to the Dixon owner and trainer. This horse was bred by Dr. Graham Brown, the groom, Conrad Miller. Looks a useful sort, but I don't think this horse is ready for a winning run. Number three, She's My Destiny. From number five, Rising Saint. Number six, Alexa's Dream. Number nine, Mekamura. Number two, Turn On The Light. Race eight is for Native at Five Zone Up. Uh, who have never won four races in their career and imported four years and up, who have never won three races. They go five and a half furlongs, or 1100 meters, seven were declared. Number two, Uncle Vernon, have been very consistent, but not one you can rely on, especially after the furlong point going to the winning post. Dane Dawkins, his regular rider, is on. Number four, Baby Star, working well. It's the best she has worked for quite a while out the straight. I think this also has issues. Uh, her last start was not much to go by. And um, I'm sure she'll be getting a lot of attention. Number five, Nevada, I have, not, I have no speed and, you know, might find this a bit short. Especially, there is not much speed for expectation of a speed collapse. Should be running on. I don't expect this one to win. Number six, Hair of Fire looks the horse to beat for me and uh, especially how Marlos Barn has been improving the Cardenas rise number six then air of fire from number three Uncle Vernon number four baby star number five Nevada the penultimate race race nine goes six for long about 1200 meters to 12 starters it's for native bed trios who have never won two races and imported trios and up who are maidens. Number one, Curling's Barracuda has to improve to win. Useful horse, a horse that I think uh, will get a distance of ground. Strange, Robert Haldin is going four kilos overweight to ride this one. Number two, Trooper Bravado, another, this is a US importy who um, didn't do anything on the season debut. Early speed, yes, and faltered. Could run much, could run better, but I don't think this horse has a chance of getting into the top four. Maybe 
the top five. And that's a maybe. As a matter of fact, I don't think so at all. We go to another U.S. important. Number three, awesome list. Not sure six for long is ideal for this horse, but this fast trident filly looks very sharp of recent and uh, working well. And um, I expect this, I expect her to win anyway. My four secret identity uh, going six furlongs, looking okay. As I told you in last, she looked a bit better than before, has her issues, and will definitely run well. Another with going with much overweight for the services of, of the rider, Dave Nelson, 3.5 kilos plus. Secret Identity will be getting the figure eight on for the first time after, in, in three careers, after three career starts. I noticed this horse in at the furlong point, uh, you know, had her mouth open. So I see Tencent Chung obviously saw that and uh, apply the figure eight, which is the, the equipment that should rectify that issue. And the six broken light um, could be closing for a minor placing number seven alimony. Uh, looking okay in exercise and will be part of the low exotics. Number eight, gentle giant. Well, far from a giant, very small horse. Saw this one work on Monday the 10th of May and he went five and a half furlongs in 108 and four fifths by 102 and two fifths. Very fluent and easy. To win this race, I don't see it, but you have to consider him for your top four. Number 10, Pretty Cash, another US importing. This horse will get the hood on after that non-factoring display on debut the 24th of April going six furlongs. This horse has improved a lot since the last race and um, could be part of the top three. The Milabra Shore Curling, an interesting horse. Um, I'm expecting a very good run from this horse. Uh, looking okay in the mornings, you know, but has number three awesome lifts to overcome. Number three awesome lifts. Number one, Curling Barracuda. Number four, Secret Identity. Number 11, Short Curling. Number 10, Pretty Cash. Check out KD's seven, Vehicle short, Headlamp and Restoration. Seven, Our and headlamps are fine sanded, buffed, your, and 9H coated with a two year law. guarantee. Exactly. Price starting at $4,500. Internal restoration and, and modification and starts at $8,000. To make an appointment today, race. call us Very at 876 824 Open allowance, of course, since Cecilia was a top class filly, one of the best red well, the best local bred filly in Jamaica has produced, uh, in my opinion, for the past 15 years. I think she's the best filly that has raised her local bred, that is. We have 11 starters, they go in six and a half furlongs. Number one, Prince Charles, a five-year-old chestnut gallon by Mine Over Matter by She Spectacular by St. Appeal, owner, guard, Samuels, trainer, Stephen Todd, Ham Stables, the breeder, Derek Green. As a groom, Prince Charles has it all to do here. Number two, Crimson, five-year-old Bay Gallon by Nuclear Wayne, out of Sarah Barracuda by Price. Success Farm are the present owners. Gary Sabrati, the trainer, Michael Bernard, the breeder, Claude Thompson, the groom. Looking in good condition, but six and a half furlongs is a bit short. <coughs> Pardon. Could get into a low exotic placing if the speed collapse. Number three, Trevor's Choice, five-year-old uh, 
Dark Bay Horse by Blue Pepsi Lord of Queen Adira by War Marshal Trevor Dunkley, the owner of Alfred Brown, the trainer. Trevor, du Trevor Dunkley Senior is the owner, is the breeder rather. Wayne Doss, the groom, Trevor's choice has it all to do. Could be in the earliest, but I'm expecting this one to falter. Before Sir Alton, the US importee, foiled that be called by Jan Surprise out of Jadam by Purge, Von White, the owner, Jason Da Costa, the trainer, James Krupe, and Dylan Venoso, the breeder, the groom, Terence Bloomfield. Sir Alton is on a hat trick of wins. Very talented horse, has his issue. Uh, did look okay yesterday and um, you know at this handicap surely he has a very good chance of emerging the winner. Number five legality, six year old, five year old dark bay horse by and captain out of Tracy's legacy by discreet cat and to newness owns and trains. Linda Pastor the breeder there were a little the groom of this US imported horse. Uh, very light, um, has it all to do against this lot. Number six, Eroy, another US imported. This is a four year old bay coat by Kozan out of Golden Bucket by Mass Media. Richard Zazan, Dr. Graham Brown, and Randy McLean are the owners. Richard Zazan, the trainer, the breeder. Brent Femmon and Crystal Femmon, the groom Wayne Malcolm, uh, looks to have lost too much body pounds from this extensive, these extensive workouts on the exercise track. That's my observation. That doesn't mean though that Eroy will be affected by this, seeing that trainer Richard Zan is a top class trainer and one of the top conditioner at Cavanagh's Park. Number seven, Sentient, five-year-old chestnut horse by Strike It While It's Hot by Lady Gattadio by Footloose, the success farm. The owner, they also own uh, Crimson, number three, number two rather, in this race. Gary Sobrani, the trainer, Henry Dragai, OD, JP, the breeder, Lyndon Bennett, the groom, looking sharp of late, but six and a half furlongs against this lot uh, could be asking a lot, although he's coming down in class. Incidentally, on the 13th of February, the Highland Cricket Trophy going this very journey. He finished second, he finished fourth rather, two and then two necessarily out of God of Love and England Rose. A tougher field than this. Sentient will be closing. Number eight, Father Patrick loves it fresh, working well, and could give a good display. Well, should give a good display, I should, I should say. Number 10, Nipster, 57 kilos on Robert Halliday. Uh, yet to win so far this season, but looked his old self this week on the exercise track. Nipster, regardless of 57 kilos, will be coming to give a capital performance. Incidentally, I should go back to the way it Father Patrick. This horse is a six year big, is a six year old big yelling by a nuclear wing out of Lake Appeal by a peeling guy. Brick, uh, owner, P. Ellis, T. Pragnell, A. A. Cools, Lagrat, Latarkin, H. Pratt, In Passard, the trainer, Edison Child, the breeder, Frank Spencer, the groom. Number nine, Overcraft, 11 year old Big Gallin by Easy Real Thing, out of Royal Pithers by Royal Minister, Elizabeth Acosta, son, Her son, Jason Lacoste Chains. Martin Susan weighs the breeder, Terence Bloomfield. He has two horses here. The, the groom. 
Number 10, Nipster, followed by call by Casual Trick or Nip It by Legal Process. Micros, the owner, Anthony Nunes Trains. Michael Bernard, the breeder, the groom, Shamari White. Number 11, Royal Rogers, Five Little Grey Horse by the Stars of Soccer Party by Region of Merit. Fay Lee, owner and breeder, her husband, Dennis Lee Trains. Number 10, for me, Nipster, from number 4, Thralton. Number eight, Father Patrick. Number six, Uroy. Number two, Crimson, for a very low exotic order. Sentient should be part of it, but I can't tip more than five horses, so that's how it goes for me. Top two, race seven. Number three, Awesome Liz, and race nine, number three. Sorry, race seven, number three, she's my destiny. And race nine, number three again. Awesome. Live. Good race card. I wish you all the best of luck. And remember to wear your mask, practice social distancing, sanitize your hands. Very important. Rehydrate yourself with Jamaica's pure pride bottled water. Pure water. You don't have to be thirsty to drink water. It is very, very important in this pandemic. Take care and have a good day. Greetings, everyone. This is George Osang listening to Open Gate Show. Number one, take a listen. Hello, racing fan. This is Emilio Bimbo Rodriguez. Listen to the Open Gate Show with Colin Blair, giving you the latest tips and reviews on the horses. Big up the number one show. Pure Water. Pure pride. Pure Jamaican. Pure Water is about pure hydration. Remember to drink pure water and satisfy all your pure water needs.